What is going on then guys, welcome to a new video. So let's jump straight into it then and how to find the best quality audience to target on Facebook. Now, before I show you how I use this tool to do that, there's a couple of few points that I wanna run through with you guys first, just because it's important that when we're going through the process that you consider these and have these in the back of your mind. Plus, I wanna show you what I use these categories for and how I actually go about doing the research and planning what interests I'm going to use. So number one then, make sure the interests are relevant to the buyers within your niche. So for example then, if we're in the dog niche, there's two interests here, the dog foods versus I love dog pages. Now, the reason we wanna target the people, the interests that are relevant to the buyers is because they're already spending money within the niche. So for the example then, the dog niche, if somebody's spending money within the dog niche, then the chances are, they own a dog and therefore they're gonna be interested in our dog product. So these two examples for interest in dog foods, obviously the chances of somebody who doesn't even own in a dog be interested in dog food is gonna be a lot slimmer than somebody who does own a dog. So obviously that would be a good category of interests to go and target versus the I love dog pages. So you don't have to own a dog to like dogs or to love dogs and therefore be part of that interest if that makes sense. So essentially what we wanna do when we're targeting on Facebook is just be targeting those people who are already spending money within the niche. The second point then is look at the content on the page. So when you're gonna target an interest, you can actually open up the page on Audience Insights and look at the kind of content, look at how big the audience is and more importantly then look at the engagement. What we want essentially the ideal interest to target is one that's posting content purely relative to dog owners if we're in the dog niche for example um, and we want to make sure that they've got a good high engagement rate because that's good for two reasons number one if they're posting that sort of content that's relevant to dog owners then the chances are that audience is going to be made up of dog owners and number two then if it's got a high engagement rate as well then it shows people who are active on Facebook they have no trouble with commenting on things tagging people and liking posts related to dogs which is going to be great for our post because at the end of the day we're advertising on a social media platform so the more social we can get our audience to be on our post it's just going to be a win-win for us because it's gonna increase our organic reach and there's gonna be more people that's gonna see our ad and therefore we've got a better chance of making more purchases. Moving on to number three then, so the top categories of your interest are mostly niche related. So what I mean by that then is when we put an interest in here, so for example, if I put in, let's say just golf as an interest, and we look at page likes, if we look at all of these top categories, a good interest to target would, would have the majority of these top categories also related to golf. I'm gonna get more into that later on in the video and why that's so important. Um, and then to finish off, the last point is, so the higher the affinity score, the better. So again, going back to the audience insights, if we have a look at the page like section down here, if there's an affinity score on the right, and what it means, it explains it here, but what it means is basically that how relevant these interests are to your original interest that you're tagged in, and the higher the affinity score, the better. And as you can see, these are kind of like 24, 27, and 30, which is actually very, very low. So all that being said then, how do we actually use the tool? Now, before we get into it, I just want to highlight these categories that I've got here. So celebs and figures, brands, magazines, shops, websites, activities, and TV shows. These are typically then the ones that I begin with. And I always use a spreadsheet like this then to keep track of the interests that I potentially want to target. Because if you do this at the same time of creating an ad set, it can get messy. I find it just best to record what you're doing. So then when you start to advertise other products within that niche, then you've, also, you've always got like a database of interests you can come back to for ideas. So I tend to stick with one at a time. So for example, if we begin with the first one, I'll just take you through like a live example. So we have celebs and figures. And if we go back to our audience insights tool, then a, in fact, a quick point to make, this is why it's always handy to have a like a decent knowledge of the niche you're going into, because when it comes with coming up with interests as a starting point, then it's gonna help. So if we just take the golf niche as an example, because I play golf then, um, I know quite a few famous golfers um, or famous faces within the space that give me like a starting point. So if we just start with Tiger Woods, for example, 
we're on the page like section and what we're going to be interested in now is this top categories and the page likes so first thing i'm going to do then is just have a look at all these top categories and make sure that as many as possible are actually related to golf because that's going to be a good sign and just having a quick browse over um, all of these are golfers pj tour golf digest tie list these are all golf brands and um, pretty much 100 percent of these are related to golf which is a great sign but what i'm going to do is just click see all and it's going to give me another 20 or so categories and what we want to do is actually look deeper because the further down you can go and still get pages purely related to golf then the better and the stronger sign of it being a decent interest and as you can see then as we start to come out of kind of like the top 10 maybe the top 15 then we kind of start to fade away from golf and that tells me then that this interest tiger woods as an interest isn't a particularly good one to go out and target um, which i knew anyway purely because you don't have to be a golfer to know who tiger woods is because he's so famous and therefore his interest as an audience is going to include a lot of people who don't even play golf and therefore they're not going to be interested in my golf product and another way then to kind of back that up is if you go down to the page like sex section and if you look at the affinity scores they're 212 182 so they were much higher than that previous interest i just showed you but these are still quite low we want to try and find ones that have affinity scores of over a thousand so in other words, then Tiger Woods doesn't go on my list. What I would do is when I come across an interest that I like the look of, I would come back on here and put it on my list. I would come up with say half a dozen per category and then that gives me kind of like my plan of attack. I would then separate that out ad set by ad set. So I'd have an ad set that is purely focused on the celebs and famous figures and then set purely based on brands and ad set on magazines, shops, website, etc. So Tiger Woods isn't good enough then. So what I'm gonna do is because I know golf quite well, then I'm going to put in a guy called Sergio Garcia because he's still a pretty popular golfer, but he's probably not, he's definitely not as well known as Tiger Woods. And if you don't play golf, then you probably wouldn't know who he is. So Sergio Garcia, and we're just going to do the same sort of thing. So just have a look through the top categories. As you can see, they're all golf related again. And we're getting down now to the top 20. And as you can see, we're still purely talking about golf here. All these categories are still golf related. And as we go further down then, we're still at 24. We're still talking golf. We're still talking golf, golf. Pretty much all of them are golf until we get to about level 30, which is a great sign. So that's a stronger sign that Sergio Garcia is an interest, is purely golf related. It has like a kind of more higher value audience. And again, we can double check this then by looking at the affinity scores of the relevant pages. And as you can see, so this one's over 6,000, this one's 2,500. So these are all really good and strong signs that Sergio Garcia as an interest in the golf niche would be a pretty good one to target purely because the majority if not all of these are related to golf the affinity scores are high and therefore the audience within sergio garcia interest all pretty like it's got a high concentration of other golf interests and therefore that's a strong sign that people within this interest play golf because the majority of the interests and top categories and page likes are also related to golf if that makes sense hopefully i've explained that well um, any questions at all feel free leave a comment down below i always go back to every single person um so sergio gas is a pretty good one then um, definitely something i would consider so he goes on the list and he can be number one And then what you can do from here then, now you've found your first one, you can build on what audience insights is already given you. And what you can simply do if I can find it, Google Chrome, just simply work through kind of these ones that are related to that category you're going through. And if you just click on it and open it up, it's gonna give you an idea. It's gonna take you to the page essentially. So you can see, goes back to that point I was making earlier. You can see the kind of content they're posting then, see if it's relatable to the buyers within your niche. So by the looks of things then, um, this guy is a coach and therefore, coaches golf coaches are obviously relatable to people who play golf and therefore potentially a good interest to target now the way we were going about checking whether he would be a good one is we simply just go back to our audience insights and we put it in here so his name was michael breed let's try this one and i think that looks like the correct one most of these are relatable to golf um, the further we go down, we're still getting golf even in the top 30. 
Um, and then even in 34, we're still getting golf related in the top categories, which is a really good sign. And if we just have a look at the page likes, we can see the affinity scores are absolutely huge here. Uh, 3,000 over 3,000, 2,000. So again, I would be pretty happy with choosing him as a potential interest to target. Definitely, in fact, one that I would test. So he can go on the list as well. So we've got two pretty decent ones then to give us a starting point. And as you can see, it's a process that you just go through and you just pretty much take the time, keep doing what I've just showed you and just build and build and build on what you've got. And one thing will lead to another. You'll probably end up with like 50 different tabs open at one point as you keep opening up pages. But it's just the process you go through um, and definitely a worthwhile process as well. So in terms of the categories then that I pick for my spreadsheet when doing the research, then these are like the top six that I start with. Um, but a good place to kind of get them from is here. So the top categories, you can have coaches and you can kind of bundle them together. So you can have softwares if it's relevant to your niche, of course. Um, one really good one, especially for golf, would be like golfing getaways because obviously the only people who are going to be booking these bulk packages where they go away to play golf every year are going to be people that play golf so therefore they're going to be interested in your product and that would be a really good audience and interest to target um, i'm just going to see if i can find like a bad one to show you guys uh, so i think i saw um, i think it was called barstool sports somewhere i don't think it was on this one let's i think it was back with tiger woods I just want to give you guys an example of what a bad one would look like, just so you know which kind of interests to stay away from as well. Uh, let me see. In fact, we could pick any of these as we go down. Um, so as you can see, they're still under the Tiger Woods interest, but that doesn't necessarily make them good ones to target. So if we just open up, I mean, obviously NFL memes isn't going to be a good one. So Under Armour then, it's a brand, it's a huge, huge, huge brand within the golfing space. But if you open up the page, as you can see, like there's probably zero content in here that's relatable to golf. And therefore, if we were to target Under Armour as an interest for Facebook, then that interest, the audience within that interest is going to include a lot of people that have probably never even played golf in their life and therefore it's not very specific and it's not going to be a very good interest to target. If you're ever not sure, then simply, then simply come back to these four points and just run through them. So is the interest relevant to buyers within your niche? It kind of is, but not purely specific to look at the content on the page is it relevant to your audience or your niche then no it's not really so already it's showing bad signs of being an interest to target is it top category of your interest that mostly related i'm sure if we will put that into in fact just to illustrate to you guys quickly if we put under armor then into audience insights then i'd be surprised if we even get one single golf related page Let's let this load up. So just on the off quick look through, as you can see, there's not a single page here related to golf. So that tells you straight away, it's not a very good interest to target if you're in the golf niche. There it is, Barstool Sports, that's what I was looking for. Um, so again, if we just open this up, then and look at the kind of content, as you can see, there's no golf content here. So the audience isn't gonna have a high percentage of people who are interested in golf if that makes sense hopefully i'm kind of illustrating the points um well enough for you guys to understand um and that being said then guys i think i'm going to wrap the video up there um i'd be interested to know how you guys get on with this actually so make sure you give it a go um if you want a copy of this it should be pretty easy to replicate but if you want a copy just let me know in the comment section down below um, or hit me up on social media and i can send it across to you uh, and that being said then guys i'm wrapping the video up if you're still watching the video thank you very much i really do appreciate it um, if you enjoyed the video then please do drop a like and make sure you subscribe as well i do bring out five videos every single week so thanks for tuning in and i'll see you all in the next one